welcome. It's 3.33 on Wednesday the 10th. Um, it's called the Meeting of the Northampton Council on Aging to Order. I don't see anyone who's not a member or a staff member. So I think for our open comment period, we don't have anyone who wants to comment to us. So let's move on to the minutes from the October 14th meeting. Everyone had a chance to review them? Yes. Jerry, did you have a question? Well, it says Bob was excused and then it says he uh, seconded to adjourn the meeting. So where were you, Bob? <laughs> New Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> did so you come you. to the meeting? Maybe so it was you, Ben. I think it might've been Ben. Might've been Ben, yeah, because Bob, okay. Bob was. Yeah. Yeah. I was planning on being there, but uh, <laughs> the uh, traffic on uh, accidents took it the last three hours of the trip. So why don't we correct um, the minutes to reflect that it was Ben who mo moved to adjourn, not not the absent Bob. Good catch, Jerry. Ed. <laughs> Do we have a motion to accept the minutes as amended? So moved. A second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Any opposition? Great. Um, does anyone have any announcements that they wish to make? Of any variety? Just a brief comment. Um, Maria and I chatted the other day about, sort of posed the larger question about how we as individual CAOA members could get more involved. And just looking at a number of possibilities, I think we've mentioned in the past that we've got the age-friendly planning document is winding its way through mayor's feedback and approval. There likely will be some work groups and some work involved in that. Um, we've got the community compact funding, which is going to be looking at city municipal programs, activities, departments, and just doing a self-assessment or an assessment of how, how age-friendly we um, all departments are. And, and as we also discussed, starting with our own location, that we look at some of not only how we treat folks as they come in and when they're in person at the center, but at what, um, what are the words in the language that we're using in a lot of our documents. So hopefully as we move forward and then there'll be some planning involved in that. I think we've, you know, bit by bit, we've been, you know, closed for so long, coming back with a ever increasingly refreshed, newly refreshed um, senior center that we, you know, we want to look at, you know, what, what, how we can contribute to um, what's, what's the future going to bring. We look at, you know, the hybrid model, the in-person and mixture of still online, you know, it's a whole new approach of, of work. So just sort of keep that in the back of your brain and probably hear more in the next month or so. And be, I would say individually be thinking about ways that you yourself might want to get more involved in those. Marie, director's report. Yeah, so um, I guess there's, you know, as you saw in my report, there's not a lot, a lot of new things to report. There's a lot of the same, the same things to report. Um, so there's not been any new progress on scheduling the flooring, although it, um, the supply of the flooring that we're getting is being confirmed. So hopefully we'll be getting uh, we'll be getting the flooring and that will determine when it will go in. But as you know, the papers are reporting that supply um, may be available, but the shipping of it to us is the problem. So um, it may, you know, that may delay things, um, but I, I am hoping that sometime this winter, <laughs> maybe December, we'll see. Um, and then I sent along the uh, link to the survey that we're, that we're doing to sort of inform uh, our planning for our virtual senior center online uh, program and um, be great if if any of you uh, participated in online programming and or see yourselves doing it um, in the future 
um, it'd be helpful to hear from you. Um, and then also just to refer to people, refer people to it if you are in discussion with other members um, that we really need that feedback. Um, and the fundraising is trucking along. Um, we currently, I think, have over 200 pie orders. So the Gazette's running that ad every day in the Gazette So um, and digitally. So we're getting getting those orders in the in the mail even now so um so that will bring the fundraising amount up quite a bit and um we the friends group is reporting that currently there's they've raised 13,000 and the pie fundraiser will hopefully bring in a couple thousand if not more and then the um holiday auction will will be uh, starting, um, launching for viewing online on the 26th and then bids will be taken the week of, uh, I guess the, the week that ends with December 3rd when the bids close on December 3rd. So, um, and we, we do have all the baskets. Uh, so if anybody wants to see the contents in person we are happy to oblige. Um, and there's some really good stuff in them, but I, I guess I'm just a little worried about um, how excited people can get about seeing a picture. Um, Cause I know what it's like when you can see an ogle, everything in person and it's so much more fun. So, um, but they are pretty spectacular. So um, I, I don't know if you all heard, this isn't in my report, but I'm just reminded that build it, the building use, uh, that the, the David Pomerantz is retiring. So there'll be new, there'll be new blood uh, in, in that arena. And um, um, don't know how that may, may or may not affect our building use, but um, the so farmers- can you remind us who David Pomerantz is? Uh, Central Services Director. So he's in charge of all the buildings, including ours. So, you know, custodial and all that. So um, the farmer's market uh, will start. And I don't know if I reported this before that how that was going to work, but it's it's shifted. So it was going to be conducted the way that the the vaccine clinics were conducted and the public was going to enter from the side of the great room. And, and now uh, it switched back to the public will enter through the lobby. So um, we've decided to continue to be eight to four. Um, there doesn't seem to be a reason not to continue with eight to four for now. Hopefully uh, as things shift, hopefully things will shift and in the spring um, I'm, I'm anticipating we'll probably stay eight to four for the winter, but um, unless uh, we get a lot busier and things get a lot better with, with COVID, then I'm anticipating we'll stay eight to four for now. Um, we are seeing a lot of people ordering lunch for curbside pickup. You know, the numbers for in-house are still on the low side, um, although we did have the veterans lunch yesterday and that was um, well attended. I mean, I'm not sure what the numbers were. It was over 30 people though, right? Yeah, so um, that was really nice uh, actually just to have that many people in the building and to have you know this, this celebratory event. So uh, with live entertainment, you know, it was like the olden days. Um, when we used to be full of people. So um, we've kept fitness classes online for December, hoping that shipping isn't going to delay our uh, technology uh, for the hybrid cart that we're putting together for uh, hybrid classes that we would like to start in January. So that's the hope is that we'll start having fitness classes on site with people who want to participate online, able to, to still do that. Um, 
And um, then the final thing is that Secretary Chen has, for the first time ever, uh, this is happening, that there's a mandate for a training, which is, I actually am very pleased um, because I, I really think that uh, it is it is the best way to get everyone, uh, you know, all directors and all boards, you know, councils um, really on the same page. And so um, I hope to see more of that. But the first one, as you see, is the LGBTQ and aging training. Um, so I, I'm, I'm doing it. Uh, my staff have to do it. And so I'm doing it first because the option to, to offer a group, you know, a group training. So where we could, you know, everyone could, uh, people who didn't want to do it individually could, could sit together um, in the classroom or something and, um, and watch it together. And uh, that, you know, that, that can be a, a nice experience because then you can pause and have discussion so, um, you know, I just wanted to put that out there that if that's something, um, I mean, I'm, I'm sure we'd have to, we might have to post it as a public meeting if the whole board is meeting together to do it because of open meeting law, but um, I'm sure no one would come. <laughs> that was the same sort of issue that came up around us planning a retreat. Um, so, um, but anyway, that, that is an option. And then also, if you didn't want to do it at home or you don't have, um, I guess you all have technology, obviously. So, but, um, but we could provide technology if you want to do it here. So, um, I actually took it yesterday. How was it? It's, um, it's not bad. I was a little, the, the they use, it's a nice mix of real life people in real life discussions and they covered, they clearly had some senior center settings as well as homemaking, home care settings. So it, it covered the audiences that they were trying to reach. It was, it was, I think, pretty well done. I would say it took maybe a half an hour. Oh, I thought it was like 90 minutes or something. Didn't, no, it's, it, well, depends on how you, fast you listen, I guess, if you have <laughs> But it's, you know, it's a self-paced thing, but I agree with you. It would be, I think for a, a team, it would be a fun, a good experience to be able to pause and say, because there are several points where they say, well, you know, what would you do here? Yeah. You know, so-and-so, uh -huh. and they present a couple of scenarios and then what would you do? Um, and you just, you know, if you're alone, you're clicking, but obviously good for discussion. Yeah, yeah. I mean, or, and so the, yeah, all of our volunteers will need to do it and all of our interns and, yeah. and so... Um, I mean, that might be, you know, it's something Janet might feel like would be a really good way to build, you know, a group under a group dynamic around problem solving or, or just discussion about these things. So, um, but, you know, everyone from now on who works here or volunteers or interns uh, will have to do it. So we're going to need to integrate it into our, um, you know, our protocol. So it's, it's any entity that gets money from elder affairs. Is that the, yeah, so that's, that's a lot. Yeah. And the first time around, they only said staff. So, um, you know, that was, um, that was why I guess it went out again, I guess, because they needed to add that. Um, Is it mandatory for this group as well? Yes. All of us, all of us on the screen. Yeah. Okay. It could be great to get together if we can and folks feel comfortable. Well, maybe after you get your hybrid equipment or something, you know, we've gotten till next June, correct? Oh, okay. yes. <laughs> June right. 22. So, that, yeah. Or some other way to, to deal with it, but it would, yeah. And yeah. it's actually, they, they make reference and show a clip of a movie called Gen Silent that I had not been aware of that was filmed in Boston. Mm. And I found the movie online last night and it's, a tearjerker. It's a well done movie. Mm. Have you seen it, Carolyn? Yeah, we actually sponsored it in Brooklyn. Okay. I, I was looking at you because I figured you may have given. Yeah, your... yeah. We were part of this. I don't know if you've heard of Sage Care. Um, we were part of that, becoming one of the first assisted yeah. living yeah. class to become LGBTQ friendly. So I've done a lot of 
education regarding LGBTQ, but it's a great, great movie to see. Yes, it is. It is. Very cool. Great. They should, the, the training shows a clip of the movie and that's what made mm -hmm. me want to go find the movie. Well, Could you spell I, yeah. it? What, it, what was the title of it? Could you spell it, Cindy? Jen as in generation, just Jen, G E N. Oh. Silent. Mm. Jen Silent. So, um, I mean, one thing I, I was wondering about with this is also that we could we could offer it to members here um, mm -hmm. and maybe it would be a good thing to show the film mm. and have the training as be part of that experience because I mean it it's definitely I mean we don't we don't have to do it you know right away of course there's not enough people coming anyway but I do think that um as part of our work towards building inclusivity here um it would be you know behoove us to to do that mm -hmm. and um and and not just for LGBTQ, but for other populations. And so, um, you know, maybe we incorporate it into our our planning for, um, you know, sort of a an inclusivity campaign or educational mm -hmm. campaign here. Yeah, no, I think that I think showing the movie would be, in addition to the training, would be a good idea. If it's, I think we'd get more people if we were. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. 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 Something that's not labeled training would get more people. Right. Yeah, and free popcorn, you know. <laughs> there's there's that too. Yeah. So um I I don't really have anything else at the moment. Um I think other than I guess just that, you know, we have a new mayor now, so I have a new boss. Mm -hmm. Not yet. And, well, uh, you got for January. <laughs> maybe we will, yeah, she the mayor elect anyway. So um uh but yeah, it's it's uh you know, this is a transition period and, um, you know, things are really still very much in flux here and, and the numbers are really still very low and, but, but small groups of people are gathering. And so anyway, we're just sort of um, standing by and uh, for whatever develops here, but also really working hard on just our, uh, foundational structures here and getting ready for when we're busy again and um and planning for all our hybrid and uh, virtual programming so um you know we have plenty to do so sounds like also good up with so many new city councilors as well opportunity for a little education yes yeah definitely information sharing yeah yeah, and I did. I did just uh, join the Resiliency Hub uh, Planning Committee. So great. Um, yeah, so there's there's lots of ways to be instituting uh, the aged and dementia friendly. Um, just get you know getting some things established in terms of uh, preparing for the work that we're going to be doing later with the best practices project. Anything else? Any questions anyone has of Marie? Um, Janet? Okay. Um, volunteering continues to go well, um, continuing to have a really, really pretty steady stream of applications, which is nice. I mean, it's not like thousands of people coming through the door, but it's nice that, you know, every week it's, it's, there's really, it's, it hasn't been dull, you know, every week there's at least a couple more people stepping forward saying, I want to volunteer. So, um, which has been nice. I have seen an increase in the past couple of weeks of um, younger folks, non, you know, non, not older adults, you know, folks in the community who are looking for ways to give back and have, you know, a lot of, uh, um, time and you know availability based on schedules which is really lovely and we had three or four younger folks come through the door in the past couple of weeks which is which is nice um, to kind of have that mix in there so um, we have our social service volunteer that started uh, regular hours um, this past week working with Michelle and that's been going really well Michelle and I talked about that today and she, she's very pleased at how um, 
this volunteer is handling calls so far. So that's been helpful to Michelle and she's kind of set to come in a couple of days a week to, to lighten Michelle's load with returning calls and triaging things. So that's been really nice. Um, our friend Jerry Ann and uh, Francine are coming back soon as well to help with some fuel assistance applications too. So um, that'll be another nice uh, help with, with our social server, social worker. Um, Brown Bag also started, we got a lot of social stuff going here. Brown Bag started last, this week actually, it was on Monday this week, and the core group of volunteers, we have a good group this year, that's rolled up their sleeves, and that went really, really well. We had a lot of different protocols put in place um, with COVID and kind of how we needed to set up room and everything else, and that went really well. So that's up and going. Um, now we're just waiting for the coffee shop. I think we have, we have a long list, which is really lovely. I have a long list of people who are anxious to help and volunteer. And now it's just, you know, we're waiting for that, the point of sale to be finalized. And um, again, that might be, that printer might be stuck on a ship out in the abyss somewhere. So we're just waiting for that. Um, but we do have a really good list and healthy list of people ready to jump in. So I think we'll be ready to man it when the, when the day comes. So that'll be great. Um, the tech pro program is going strong. Uh, started all of that with the two students. They started last week uh, with the in-person as well as the helpline call-in. And happy to report that we are really booked. Um, our in-person, I mean, she's booked through, through the last week in November already is booked with appointments so much so that we're even thinking about adding an extra hour if we can to her schedule. So I'm gonna be talking with her um, supervisor through community, uh, through the workforce program to see about that. Um, and she's really doing a lovely job. I've kind of put my, my ear to the door a few times, just kind of keep an eye on things and had good feedback and she's doing really well. And also happy to report that we got two calls in also on Tuesday. So I touched base with our, our helpline student and um, he got two calls on Tuesday and he said it went really well. So it's kind of working just how we envisioned it would be working at this point. And um, so that's exciting. And I'll be having a uh, we'll be doing weekly uh, Zoom check-ins with them and their supervisors and myself to kind of really chat about the cases and see, you know, tweaking things, what's working, what's not. So we'll have our first check-in on Friday as a team. But so far, so good. Um, so I'm happy about that. Any questions about that? Or Sounds great. It does sound good, isn't it? Yeah, it's really nice to hear this. It's wonderful. Yes, yeah, it's, it's going so. well. They're, the students are especially the, the young woman's name is Stacia who comes on site and she's she's a very she's a very patient young woman and she's mm. she's lovely she has a lovely way about her you know lovely air about her and um she's done really well with some you know some challenging a couple challenging meetings so she's done very very well off, right. off the right out of the gate good for us and good for her in terms yes. of experience yeah yeah it's a great service we're doing so well you know, it's um, it's really nice to 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 hear how wide ranging um, the, these activities are. Um, so, thank you. I was wondering if we, you know, if we made a lot of money on voting day. It seemed like I worked from twelve to nine that day, and those treats were going like hot. <laughs> you know, they were going fast. Yeah. And, and just a suggestion that lunches probably, if they had been advertised. Or, or available that day. I bought lunch that day, but other people might have wanted to, to purchase it. There were people asking me where I got the food. And so yeah. that would be a good thing to do too. Yeah. That's a, that's a good thought. I think we we made a lot of money, Jerry Ann. <laughs> we did really well. I, um, I think to the tune of about, between early voting the week before and election day, it was about $1,600. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it was, it was definitely well worth Kevin's efforts <laughs> yeah. for Kevin. Yeah. Um, and everybody, uh, we had volunteers that were working, you know, that whole entire week there and, and covering everything. And it was lovely. So yeah, definitely a big success. Yeah. Yeah. And, and the, just each little uh, fundraiser is really, you know, proving to be worth like the effort is, you know, we're, we're spreading out the work with all the help from volunteers. And it's really, um, I mean, I'm just, I'm really hopeful that we're gonna 
raise the money that we need for the furniture. So hopefully the furniture won't go up in price or that we'll, we, we'll, we'll get, be able to get the furniture we want. You know, it's, just, it's one thing to have the money and then being able to get it. So it's you know, right. not on, on that other ship. Yeah. <laughs> right. We need to, we need to hire a trucker to bring it to us. <laughs> well, it's, and I'm sure, um, do you have any recollection of how many pies you sold two years ago, the last pie thing? 75. Wow. Yeah. And we're over 200 now. So, so the Gazette, that's the, amazing. The Gazette advertising <laughs> is really paying off. Yes. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Advertising really helps. Um, and, you know, I mean, I think also, well, we also had sort of this, uh, this gold star volunteer, uh, this woman who lives at Lathrop who took it upon herself to get pie orders from everyone at Lathrop. <laughs> she's so, our ringer. She's our ringer, Cynthia. <laughs> she's in her nineties and she called me up and she had her daughter make a special order form and, <laughs> and she got 24 pie orders. So take care, Carolyn. Uh, that's wonderful. <laughs> that is really, that's, that's amazing. Well, it's also, I, you know, the, I remember I had some a couple of years ago and they are really good, but you look at the pie bar ads for pies and ours, much more bargain. Yeah. Similar <laughs> things. And yeah. Think, and probably better, better than like a big Y pie. Right. Okay. Yes. So exactly that. Um, that's great. I think it's, and you know, kudos to the Gazette for willingness to keep on putting that coupon in there. Well, we are paying them. <laughs> well, still, but no yeah, still have been willing to put it in every day. Yeah, no, it's good. They're really good. Yes, it's. Who's going to make all those pies, Kevin? And who else? Oh well, they're coming from um, what is it, Pierre? It's it's the gourmet branch of Sarah Lee. So we're ordering mm -hmm. them, and then he's baking them. So, so they'll be to... freshly baked. Okay. But yeah, he's Just not making bit. those pies. Oh, no. he, would, <laughs> he would, he would, uh, probably, he would walk probably out. string me up at this yeah. point or walked out the door at 200 pies. <laughs> but Jerry, and that's, I asked him the other day, I was like, how many pies can you bake at once? Cause I'm envisioning, you know, I'm forgetting how big his oven, which is great. You know, it's a lot I'm thinking, oh my God, he's going to have to, <laughs> how long of a production is this going to be? But yeah. <laughs> even, even so it's going to, even though, there's going to be a lot of pies. So going to be quite pie a, boxes. Yeah, he's going to be busy for a few days. That's for sure. Mm. Yeah, he's had to be very creative with freezer space. Yes. All oh, right, of course. Because he. Well, hey, Jean, how are you? Uh, um, is there anything else? Any other? Anything you heard prompt any questions or comments? Is the meeting, meeting over? Did I miss it? <laughs> it's we're just coming to the close. Yes, <laughs> fashionably late, Jean. <laughs> um, you have, yeah. yes. So anybody, I mean, just FYI, anybody who knows anybody who would like to apply to be an artist, have a monthly show. Just spread the word. We'll do. So our next, what's the date of our next meeting? The second? December, um, December 9th? December 9th. My anniversary. Hmm. We'll make it a brief meeting, Bob. <laughs> yeah, December 9th. Okay, well, I well, think yeah, the second month was lots of good news and updates. Thank you guys. Um, lots of fun things happening. And um, if anyone hasn't had a chance to see the great paint job, you, know, you want to see it. It really, the whole place just looks so much lighter and brighter. Mm. Can we, is there anything we can do about those light bulbs? <laughs> uh, they will get changed eventually, but yeah. I mean, can, if I if I wanted to buy some and come down with a ladder, would that be allowed? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's called liability, Gene Hoos. No, 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 but but yeah, we can't let volunteers do that. But there's also like fair labor laws and all that. So it's called the union too. Yeah. Yeah. 
yeah, but um, no, it is on the list. It, it's uh, it'll happen. Everything's a little slow. Yeah, these days with a lot of things. So all that white paint and all that yellow casting light, you know, it's just right. like really frustrating. Right. Yeah, it'll get better. It'll get better. So okay, I think we're good. Our next meeting's the ninth. Um, everyone have a good Thanksgiving eating. Whether you're eating Kevin's pies or not. <laughs> and see you on the ninth. So we have a motion to adjourn the meeting. So moved. Okay, Ms. Second. Second. Okay, all in favor, I'm assuming. So Aye. we are adjourned at 404. Take care, everyone. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye -bye.